Hello friends, uh, I am here in Gettysburg, downtown, uh, in the square. Uh, let me just give you a quick uh, look around here at the square. Uh, behind me is the, uh, the statue of Lincoln um, here at the Jonathan Wells house. Um, over here there's the Gettysburg Hotel and uh, that's the square right there. Uh, it's actually a circle but we call it a square. Um, across there's a bank. Over there's the House of Bender, uh, the blue and gray bar and grill, and if you go up that street, um, just right up there and then around the corner is where I live. Um, over in that direction is the campus. Walk about 10 minutes, uh, either north like that or west over there, and uh, you'll get to the campus in that section of town. So um, I wanted to uh, just shoot a quick video and update y'all on exciting news and plans for uh, this upcoming school year. Um, by God's grace, uh, we're starting a new, new chapter in my, my ministry adventure, and I will be transitioning to lead the campus ministry at Shippensburg. Um, this past semester, I've been working primarily at Gettysburg, um, doing probably like, like five, no, four days a week at Gettysburg, and then uh, and two days at Shippensburg. Um, so I'm going to sort of swap that, probably do five days a week out at Shippensburg, um, just leading the charge there, preaching the gospel, making disciples, and then uh, do probably like one day a week swap between Gettysburg and Dickinson. Uh, those are the three campuses that are down here um, on our staff team that we work at. So uh, I just want to share with you all um, that news and, and also just give you, give you a, a verse that's been on my mind um, related to this, uh, it's from Luke 15. I'm reading from the exciting New Living Translation, which gives sort of an exciting uh, translation. Uh, Luke 15, Jesus says, If you had 100 sheep and one of them strayed away and was lost in the wilderness, wouldn't you leave the 99 others to go and search for the lost one until you found it? And then you would joyfully carry it home on your shoulders. When you arrived, you would call together your friends and neighbors to rejoice with you because your lost sheep was found. In the same way, Heaven will be happier over one lost sinner who returns to God than over 99 others who are righteous and have it straight away. Or suppose a woman has 10 valuable silver coins and loses one. Won't she light a lamp and look in every corner of the house and sweep every nook and cranny until she finds it? When she finds it, she will call on her friends and neighbors to rejoice with her because she has found her lost coin. In the same way, there is joy in the presence of God's angels when even one sinner repents. That's really my vision. I, I, I want to seek the lost, that lost sheep. I want to search and find that lost coin um, and cause all of heaven to rejoice. Um, that's my goal. I'm, I'm so eager to get out to ship and spread be able to, to pour more um, of my life, my energy, my ministry into the campus um, to see God work um, and to see transformation and salvation come uh, to the students there. So please join me in praying uh, and rejoicing. Um, there are so many details, so check out uh, the PDF newsletter that I've attached to this email, and uh, you can get all the details of how to be praying this summer um, as I transition to ministry at Shippensburg this fall. Thanks for watching. See ya.